Hey guys, and welcome back to another book review on the Math Channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Chemistry Math book by Eric um, Steiner. I think that's how you say it. And we were looking at the second edition. So, this book, despite its name, is actually a really good math book for physics as well as chemistry. So, the, way, the reason it's called the Chemistry Math book is because specifically they have specific... There's a specific exercises in here that a chemistry student would probably need. So it goes over the basics of pretty much most mathematics. And then it goes into some partial differential equations. It goes through everything, honestly, in math. This is probably the most underrated math book on the planet. Like, I've got a lot of math books, and this is probably the one I use the most. This is how I taught myself a lot of stuff. So let's just take a look what's actually in this book. So... Let's go to the, um, oh, that's all good. Uh, prefix, but I don't want to see that. Was, all right, so context. So in this book, you're going to be dealing with numbers, variables, and units. So specifically, this is basically, since this is a chemistry math book, it's got SI units and it's orientated to physics topics as well. So if we take a look in just one, it goes over pretty much all the basic math you need. So division of fractions. Um, I wouldn't say this is a great beginner math book, but it's not bad. Like, Strath, it goes into pretty much um, applications because it is a chemistry book. So it's got Gas's Law. Um, it's got other couple of things in here. Um, the newest equation for the EMF of an electric cell. So it's got stuff like that. And then it basically goes over your units. So your moles, etc., Kelvin stuff. Then it goes over real numbers, which is pretty good. And then it just asks you basic some algebra stuff. And yeah, it's uh, pretty good here. And if we just go through, it's got tons of examples how to do stuff. Everything you need uh, goes over a bit of pi. Uh, divisibility with like long division, which is pretty cool. Um, variables. So if we go here, so it basically it's got a summary of every single topic. So we've even got algebra, some basic laws of additions pretty much. But if we go here, ah, oh, no, that's still examples. Index laws. Even goes into complex numbers, which I do not believe you need at all really for chemistry. The only time I've seen complex numbers appear is in quantum mechanics, really. Other than that, in complex analysis. But here, it's got your basic... It's even got tables with all the standard stuff, like your units and stuff. Um, it's got some more um, other ones. It's got your derivation. So, all of these units are basically um, comprised of these main units here. So, if you see here, um, force, that's going to be kilograms, meters per second per second. So, in other words, um, it's mass times acceleration. And acceleration is um, distance... Uh, yeah, um, it's, sorry, I lost my train of thought just then. Um, yeah, mass times acceleration, and acceleration is meters per second per second. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's got all that stuff. And if we just go here, so this is, it goes through a bunch of stuff here. This is, um, mainly some chemistry stuff. Look, it's even got, um, I think this is one of the Schrodinger, yeah, this is one of the Schrodinger equations. I can't remember which one this is, if this is one dimensional or etc. Anyway, but here, this is the great thing about this book. It's got tons of exercises, all based off the previous stuff. And they have solutions to every single question, not all the odd number problems. So let's go back to the table of contents. So go over the numbers, variables, units, algebraic functions, Transcendental functions, so your inverse trig and all your um, crazy ones like your log logarithm exponentials, even got some little polar coordinates and stuff. Differentiation, so it goes over calculus. Um, it is a huge, it goes over a lot of calculus. So it even goes into some, some examples like angular momentum, uh, stationary points, integration, basic stuff, methods of integration, series and sequences. That's a bit insane, considering this is meant to be a chemistry math book. Again, this is underrated. I think the title may need a change, because this is probably just the best hands-down math book, uh, applied math book out there. Um, complex numbers goes in more depth about that. Functions of several variables. So that's basically like your functions that require two inputs to receive one output. Functions in three dimensions, so it probably goes over some vector um, calculus in here. First order differential equations. So it goes into some examples. It goes over how to basically solve some of them by separation of variables. Then it goes into some examples. So separation of equations in chemical kinem... Uh, kin I can't pronounce that word, sorry. Goes into electrical circuits, which appears in physics a lot. 
Um, second order differential equations, so it goes into the harmonic oscillator. It even goes into a bit of quantum mechanics. So this stuff here, down here, when they say the particle in a one-dimensional box and a particle in a ring, if we go to, what was it? Page 352. That's actually quantum mechanics. So if we take a look here, here we are. So this is all quantum mechanics. So this is solving the Schrodinger equation for a one-dimensional thing, pretty much. So it goes over so much in this book. I can't stress to you amount. It even goes on application if it was in a ring. So this example here is this setup, but except it was in a circle pretty much. Okay? And yeah, it's got so much examples. It's not even funny. And so many exercises. Like, all right, let's go back to the table of context. So second order differential equations. Keeps going. Partial differential equations. Orthogonal expansions like Fourier analysis, vectors, determinants, matrices and linear transformations, eigenvalues and the eigenproblem. Then it goes into numerical methods. So like methods you like, like I say you have an integral and you can't like integrate it. That's like your Simpsons rule. That's your, your trapezium rule, your left um, and right rule. And it even goes into probability and statistics. And that's it. It is such a good book, and I recommend anyone to have it if they're doing any sort of math that requires this. So, if we just go to a random page, like, the way they explain stuff in this book is absolutely fantastic. So, this is for Fourier series. Like, they've got it set out so easily. Like, obviously, it gets more complex as it goes on, but the way they start it, here, they just start from the basic definitions. All right, sine and cos functions, they're periodic, etc., etc., and... It also has real world examples. So if I go to it's part of fucking all. And yeah, so many questions. I cannot stress enough. This is actually the book I learned how to do partial differential equations from. Um, and I'm also learning quantum mechanics from this book, even though our book's meant to be coming in a while. So part part of the circuit box, so that's more quantum mechanics stuff. It goes over everything. Like I mean everything. There's not one little math topic in here that isn't discovered. Now, you're probably thinking, this is a chemistry book. Where, are the, where is the chemistry? Oh, here we go. It goes over electrical circuits, so a differential equation involving electrical circuit. Now, this is the chemistry. Example of chemical kin... kin um, I can't pronounce it. I think it's... I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Basically goes over the calculus of chemistry, pretty much. So, like how um, products go to reactants, etc. How you can like measure the rate of it, pretty much. Um, yeah, it's got some more stuff here. It's even got some graphs. So, where is it? They had a good one over here, I think it was. With like, yeah, they had a real chemistry equation and they literally took it and created this monster of math from it. But anyway, if you are interested in learning all the math, pretty much, well, math up until topology, pretty much, I would recommend this book. There is not a reason you shouldn't get this book. It has everything you could need. Yep. Yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah. Recommend this book severely. If you don't get this book, then you're missing out, honestly. Like, it goes over everything. Like, this is complex numbers in a chemistry math book. But, anyway, that was my little book review on this book. So, this is the chemistry math book, Oxford. Um, Eric Steiner, second edition. I've had this book for over a year and it has taught me so much. A lot of the videos you see on the channel have come pretty much I've learnt from this book and I've actually used a couple of examples on here. So look, look at that. You ever think you'd see that in a chemistry book? But here, ah, look, electrical circuits, it's got everything. Really recommend this book. Um, I'll try and leave a link to it in the description. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. See ya.